Today, I have a package that arrived all the way from Australia. And of course, it's none other than the Nostalgia Mystery Boxes that I've had my eye on for such a long time. So let's just jump right on. So I ordered two of the common mystery boxes, which I think are obviously the most common ones, but there is a rare one you can get uh, as well. But I did want to order two of these. I'll just open them up and they do come bubble wrapped which is super cool and with these you can grab the one hit wonders uh, i think you get them inside here or i have them on the outside usually they're inside from what i've seen on other people's videos but i have them on the outside here you get some pokemon stickers but you can if you wanted to um these boxes are a little bit expensive if it's a little bit out of your price range you can just buy the one hit wonders or one pack wonders on their website as well so let's jump right on into one of them Again, I was opening and looking at some of these videos online and they looked pretty cool and I was waiting and waiting and waiting to get some of these. So here's the one pack wonder. So it does say, so see inside it says uh, you get three sword and shield or scarlet and violet packs, a one hit wonder, the mystery pack, and then pokey stickers. And then it does say here too, so the mystery odds, god pack is one in 100, vintage pack is one in 30, X and Y pack is one in 15, and then sun and moon pack is one in five. So I think, yeah, so uh, god packs include all of these mystery packs. And then remaining mystery packs with all on here is just an extra scarlet violet and extra sword and shield. That's pretty cool. Maybe we'll do this one hit wonder first. I was waiting to order these mystery boxes from Nostalgia because um, sometimes when I order from the US, like the Canadian prices suck so bad. So it's so hard to order from the US because I'm almost paying double, but with Australian, the price is pretty similar. So even though it's 80 Australian, it's 80 Canadian. And I think the shipping is really good as well. So I would definitely check these out. I've seen a lot of good videos on here. Okay, so we have the one hit wonder. I don't know, I don't even know like what to expect in here. Okay. An Anora. What set is this from? 2006. That is so cool. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I really like that. Steel Energy evolves from a Claw Fossil. That is. And with luck, we're about to see an Armaldo soon. Hey, it's happening already. Wow. Armaldo. So I don't know if that's the new thing where they put the one pack wonder on the outside, but I saw I think the older versions where they came on the inside. So I really don't know what to expect from here. I don't even know how to open this. Oh my goodness. I should have maybe watched a little bit more videos <laughs> before seeing it, but I love a good mystery and I hope you guys too. And even if you guys can't buy these, I hope you guys live through me. Okay, let's let's see. Hurry up. Okay, so it comes in a black bag. And there's our mystery pack, I believe. And then we should have our three. Oh no, hold on. I got another one hit wonder. Wait, what? That's so cool. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. Oh, and we got our Pokemon sticker. So let's see what we have here. So we have Rotom, we have Rockruff, and then these two, I do not know. Chimchar, I think. I don't remember that guy's name there. So cool, stick this off to the side. I'm definitely gonna stick this on my laptop. I'm like a big sticker laptop type of gal. And then we got Fusion Strike. Ooh, we can get the Gengar out of there. Crown Zenith has so many good alt arts. And then of course, Scarlet and Violet Base, which is actually a really good pack selection. And I'll keep the black one off to the side. Now let's see what we get in this one hit wonder. That's so random. I gotta go and look back at these other sets and uh, at these other videos, sorry, and see if other people Ooh. have this, I think I was watching the older videos and I, I don't know. I swear they were all on the inside. I don't know why I got extra on the outside, but that's so cool. Okay, let's see what this one is. I love that they're top loaded too. So like, you know, even if you were to buy just these instead of um, if you didn't want to buy the whole mystery box and you just wanted to buy the one hit wonder pack or one hit wonder card, you'll know they come really really cool like their, their packaging is amazing as much as i've seen on other mystery boxes i mean they have some incredible packaging but you know it comes in good condition too i mean look at the back there it's really cool there's a little bit of a ding but i don't mind too much let's see what it is crabby base pokemon and this is from a 1995 i believe 1999 wizards of the coast that is really cool i love crabby crabby is honestly one of my top 30, it's so hard to pick Pokemon, but I would say like a top 30 Pokemon for me. 
And here we have our pack. So let's jump right into Scarlet and Violet. And let's see if we can pull that Miriam alt art. I'm still after her. I have not gotten her yet. So let's see if we can pull her leaf. Fire. Oh, ooh. oh my gosh. Did you guys see that? I saw something on the side. Energy switch. Varum. Kalancher. Skiddo. Beach Court. Santaconda. Katie. Slowpoke. Okay, it's not in the reverse slot. So what was that? Is that on the end? Okay. Bloom. And... Hey, Meow Scar. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I hide myself up for no reason. Oh my goodness. Okay, jumping back into Crown Zenith. That's why I can't with these silver borders. They always trick me. I swear, every time I open these up, they always get me. Okay. There's the code card. Please, Pokemon. What did I just do? Oh, it's four. Okay, hold on. Four to the front. One, two, three. I'm getting so confused with sets. Fighting energy. Thankfully, that wasn't the rare. I thought, what did I do? Okay. Friends and Sinnoh. Glue. Wulu on its back. We have Shinx. Purloin on the laptop. Pancham. Snorund. Ponyard. Shinx reverse. And on the back, we have a Galarian Preserker. I have to remember that Sword and Shield is four to the front and not one to the front. I'm getting so confused. And I don't know why I keep doing that. Okay. I still need so many sets from Fusion Strike. So many cards in here. One, two, three, four to the front. Let's guess lightning. Nope. Water. We have Sydney. I don't even think I've opened up like, a lot or even much of Fusion Strike. I feel like I just skipped over the set, but I really shouldn't have because there's so many good cards in here. Reverse Harima Hariyama. And on the back, <gasps> Mewvi, my favorite Pokemon yeah, ever. Oh my gosh, that is such a cool card. Again, I, I don't think I've opened up much of any fusion check unless it was in those Walmart mystery boxes because that is so cool. I've never seen that. I was hoping for Gengar, but honestly, this Mew is way better. Now let's jump right on into opening up what this mystery pack is. So this is different than what I've seen for other people's mystery packs like Pokey Red, Pokey Chloe. They kind of, an unlisted leaf, they have the colored pack so you know what you get inside. If it's green, it's, it's common. Red, it's a little bit more uncommon like Sun and Moon. But here you can't tell. So this is really just a huge mystery. You won't know until you open it up. And let's see. Unified Minds? That's so cool. I haven't seen that in such a long time. Okay, let's open it up. I don't even know what you can get in here anymore. I have not opened it in so long. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, whoa. There's the code card. It sounded like Crash Bandicoot there. Okay. Two, three, four to the yeah. front. And I'm going to guess fire? Steel. Okay, let's really take this in. I have not opened up Sun and Moon, and I feel like forever except for i think in one of the mystery packs i got a guardians rising pack but other than that i have not opened up sun and moon in forever okay giant bomb bug catcher straight out of animal crossing fletchling haunage pikachu that's a really cool art i love that it's like in a mushroom forest hoot hoot scraggy with the baggy pants with hoot hoot reverse oh my gosh look at those reverses i love the stars on them and on the back a hollow a victini Oh, I love Victini and that hollow is super cool and a good art. So that is a really good pull for Unified Minds. Now onto our second box. And let's see, so now I think we'll get two one hit wonders, but I don't know if everyone gets two hit one hit wonders. So thanks Nostalgia, I'm so happy. So there they are again, I'll link them down below as well. Oh, and there's their cards in case you guys will go wanna check them out on social media, on their stores or their emails. Again, look at their packaging. It's so cool and so well thought out. Like they have the Pokemon card as their business card. Everything is just so nice and neatly packaged. Like it's just, it's just insane the amount of effort that they put into this packaging. So if I were you, I would go and pick some of these up. They're, they're really cool. And sometimes they have a, a good sale on as well. Okay, let's see what this one hit wonder is. It's almost coming out. Let's have it back in there. Let's see what it is. Oh, Meow! Again, from 1999, Wizards of the Coast. That is a really cool art. That is so cool. Payday. That's so cool. I'm sorry. I, I have not seen... I don't have a lot of vintage Pokemon cards. I love them, but I just... I can't bring myself to like pay pay for them right now at the moment. Um, I'm like really into modern and opening up 
so many modern things, especially on the channel. So seeing these old cards is so awesome for me because I don't have a lot of them. It's really nostalgic because obviously I used to have them when I was younger, but oh my gosh, that is so cool. Jumping right on into here. So I'll just give you guys a little overview of the box once again, and you can find a vintage pack one in every 30 boxes. So you could get the uh, heart gold, soul silver, base set, jungle, all the goodies. And I wonder if we could do it today. I wonder if we could get a God box. Could you imagine? Imagine getting a God box out of here. That's crazy. Okay, there's our pack again, which we'll open up at last. And let's see if we get the same selection of packs. Oh yeah, our one hit wonder again. Okay, and our Pokemon stickers. Oh yeah, we got Helioptile, Swoobat or Woobat. Oh gosh, I'm definitely wrong. Lucario, we got some good stickers. Oh, Lucario and Riolu. The basic set of it. Oh my gosh, why am I blanking on this right now? Oh my gosh, okay. Again, Poke Bay, not good with Pokemon cards or Pokemon names at all. Okay, let's see. Again, here's our one hit wonder. That is really cool. Thanks Nostalgia for giving me two one hit wonders. I mean, that's pretty awesome. I'm really excited. Let's see what this one is. I hope it's another old card. I love them and it's so cool. Okay. It is, we got the full picks. 1999 Wizards of the Coast. Oh my gosh. Look at the art on this. It's so simple, but yet so good. Okay, let's see what kind of pack selection we have. So we have Crown Zenith, Brilliant Stars, and Scarlet and Violet. That's okay, that's really good. Let's start with Scarlet and Violet base. And this one, Pokey Day, one to the front. <laughs> I gotta tell myself, I gotta remind myself. Okay, let's see, lightning, darkness. Rare candy, Fido. I love Fido, I think it's such a cool Pokemon. Fineco, Heracross, Defiance Ban, Tropius Reverse, Energy Switch, Second Reverse, or Energy Search. And on the back, we have a Palmot. Let's open Brilliant Stars next. Let's see if you can pull that Charizard. This one is four to the front. This code card. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna guess Psychic, Leap, Charon's Care, Bear Tick, Collapse Stadium, Gibble, Trap Inch, Cast Form, Throw, Shroomish, Reverse Chinchino, and on the back we have Tornadus. I have not seen this card in so long, but it's so cool. Whoever did the art on this is so good. I have to go and check like what's my favorite art set and who it's designed by. Crown Zenith. So many good alt arts in here. It's not even funny. I hope we can pull one today. It's so good. Darkness, Electric, Lost Vacuum, Great Ball, Baron, Riolu, Starly, Scyther, Pokeball. Magnezone. <gasps> See, oh my gosh. Yes, I was saying the alt arts in here are just absolutely insane. Does it not look like Futurama? A little bit, like it, it really does. That is so cool. Oh my goodness, that is a good card. See, that's what I was saying. The alternate art or illustration rares in this set are insane. It's a good set. It's a really, really good holiday set. On to our last pack here. Let's see what we can pull out of it. Hopefully vintage, that'd be super exciting. But even a sun and moon pack, that's still cool. I think, what is it? Uh, odds of sun and moon pack every one in five. So even that already like was so good. Let's see. <gasps> Crown Zenith again. Let's see if we can pull another illustration rare. I have to say, out of my, out of the modern sets, I would say Crown Zenith is definitely my favorite set out of modern. And out of the old ones, I would say Legendary Treasures is my favorite set. What's your set? Let me know down below what your favorite set is. Bidu, Coughing, Salandin, Purloin, Grubbin. <gasps> see, okay, two, two really good Alternate art on the back, we have Zemazenta Hollow, which is a good one as well. But look at that. That is like so Canadian if I've ever seen one in my entire life. The beavers building a dam. Oh my gosh, I love it. Some little bibberels down here. So cute. So here's all the hits from this video. Honestly, this was crazy. I, I mean, the pack selection was insane already. So that was, that was awesome. So thanks Nostalgia for making these mystery boxes. And if you guys want me to make more of these types of videos for mystery boxes or anything like this, maybe some Pokey Chloe, maybe some Pokey Rev ones, just let me know down below. And I love mystery boxes, so I'd be happy to do one. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to give it a like and a comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.